So here we're exploring some applications of a vector line integral. And our first application is work. And you want to make note that here we're exploring the work done by a force field and moving some object along a curve in a positive direction. So if F is a continuous force field in some region D in space, and if we let C be a smooth curve in this region D in R3 with a unit tangent vector consistent with orientation such that C is parameterized by the vector valued function R of T with components X of T, Y of T, Z of T, such that T is greater than or equal to A, less than or equal to B. Then, the work done by this force field in moving an object along the curve in a positive direction is defined by the vector line integral. So we have the integral over C of the dot product of the force field and the tangent vector with respect to the arc length, which we know is equivalent to the integral from A to B of the force field dotted with the tangent vector with respect to T. And so this is the vector line integral that we use to find the work done by the force field in moving an object along a curve C in a positive direction. So the second application of a vector line integral is circulation. So you want to note that circulation measures how much of a vector field points in the direction of the curve C. And so while circulation can be applied to any vector field, it's particularly relevant or particularly important if we think of our vector field as the velocity field of a moving fluid. So here's our definition. We let vector f be a continuous vector field on some region d in R3, or in space. We let c be a closed, smooth, oriented curve in d. So closed meaning it has the same start and end point then the circulation of the vector field on C is defined by the vector line integral. So we have the integral over C of the dot product of the vector field and the tangent vector with respect to the arc length. And this ends up giving us the same vector line integral that we've been using. So we have the integral over C of the vector field dotted with the tangent vector with respect to T dt. And so this is the vector line integral for the circulation of the vector field on a closed, smooth, oriented curve, C. So the third application of a vector line integral that we are going to explore is flux in two dimensions. So to get us started, we want to note that flux is measuring how much of a vector field is flowing through or passing through a surface. So just like circulation, flux applies to any vector field, but it's going to be particularly relevant if we define vector f as specifically a velocity vector of a moving fluid. So you can see how defining this as a moving fluid helps us to understand how flux is measuring how much of that field passes through the surface. So here's our definition. We're going to let vector f be defined by the components fg, and this vector field is a continuous vector field on a region R in two dimensions. We also want to go ahead and let C be a smooth oriented curve in R that does not intersect itself, such that C is defined by the vector valued function R of T with components X of T, Y of T, such that T is greater than or equal to A, less than or equal to B, then the flux is defined by the vector line integral over C of the dot product of this vector field with the principal unit normal vector with respect to the arc length. And when we convert this formula to an arbitrary parameter t, this becomes the integral from A to B of F multiplied by the derivative of Y with respect to T minus G multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to t dt. And again, this is where vector n is that principal unit normal vector that we saw back in chapter 12. And 
so this is the vector line integral for computing flux.